There it is. Those uh, I just totally said supersonic, supersonic shock wave, petrified sand layers, and look, you can see those layers and how they splay out all from that one site. That is exactly what I just said. I was standing over there, and you can see. The layers. This is all. This, these are ocean polished, but then when the lava flowed down over here, all of these were petrified right to the sand on the beach. I mean, all these waves, all these shock waves were blasting off right over there. Look at that. The top layer goes off, and then but they were the bottom layer was blasted over, and then the top one, the frequency changed. Just like the green sands. This is amazing. Hell yeah, baby. Shit, and this was recent. Like, this was after we were here. Like, this was, I mean, the lava flow, it's very recent. I gotta be here the next time the lava hits the ocean to see how this occurs. And I mean, dude, supersonic shock waves, nobody's living through that. We're gonna have to set up cameras and then hope the cameras survive it, but we can't be anywhere near that when that happens. That would not be survivable, as far as I can imagine. But yeah, dude, this is an concrete. That is melted sand. An entire layer of melted sand blasted outward. Melted in patterns. Look at those layers. It's thin ass little layers right there. Dude. Those are not lava flow, those are sand laid down layer on top of layer all in one event super shock supersonic shock when the ocean hit the water there was a constant lightning bolt just sent out this crazy high frequency and uh she spread everything Right, baby.